Hi team, um, just a quick catch up about what happened on um, over the weekend. Um, great day of racing at Hawke's Bay, a little bit cold, but um, other than that, it was a wonderful day. Um, very exciting to see, see these horses coming through and uh, first of all, we had on the card was Los Angeles. I think she did a fantastic, had a, had a, Real, a lot of trouble in the running. She really didn't get a position. Uh, as soon as I saw that, when we went, went past the post the first time, I just shook my head. I knew, I knew that's where we didn't want to be. Um, and and Trudy got stuck there. She got bumped back into the rail, and uh, you know couldn't get out. Uh, the thing is about it, she, they nearly ran a track record for that race, um, and the last 600 was faster than the Livermore. So I was really impressed with her. She's back right now at Coniston Lodge in her paddock, taking a week of grass. Um, well, let's see how she um, is after that week's gone and whether we send her back up to Rukaka to get a couple more races out of her or just spell her now, bring her back for early autumn, um, late summer. Um, and we'll just make that decision in the next week or two. But I was really thrilled with her. We've obviously got a lovely stayer on our hands um, in the future. Now, Dance, 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 what a great, great run. Um, really happy with her run she, she obviously didn't get the best of runs in fact she got shuffled all the way back uh to last on the home turn and had to really find her way out she got stuck for a run home went up the back of some horses stopped went forward had to come shift shift out went forward again um when she did she found that clear air and she just flew and honestly i thought we'd have got fourth um but she'd taken that wonderful big stride of hers and uh bobbed her head down and got a nice third, another group one placing for us. And look, I am looking forward to getting you that big, bold type, which has really added added value to her pedigree. It's very, very important. I can't stress that enough. Um, after that, sky's the limit. Let's protect her, keep her safe. Um, she's got so much more development to do. Uh, I think she'll even be better as a five-year-old. She's just one of those horses that will just keep you know, growing into such a strong, strong horse and um, and I'm uh, looking forward to what we can do with her in the future. So plan, plans for her are, are, are big, uh, let me put it that way. Um, let's just nurture her step by step from now on and, and get that big black type. Uh, Ruby Amani heading to Hawera. Uh, Noms aren't out till tomorrow, but we've got Daryl Bradley booked to ride. Um, so he's been on her, won the listed race, knows her well. I'm hoping that being a track that he's familiar with, we'll have the advantage. Um, we've got uh, the Sham Express filly out of Lady Desheen. She went up on Friday uh, when the truck turned around and went back. And um, yes, yeah, they rode her this morning and they are thrilled with her. She's uh, Michelle said he, she really likes her, so um, we can only move forward with, from, from there with her. The others, I will give you an update as I speak to the trainers this week um, and let you know how they're going. Um, but I'm only expecting some um, good reports. So um, that's Bax on Track, and I'll catch up with you on Wednesday evening.